I'm down here on the Zoysia lawn at the beach house and I am going to talk about something that's absolutely critical that you have to understand if you have a warm season lawn. Not so much cool season. There are thousands of dethatching videos for cool season grass. What I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about quote unquote dethatching, which we don't do on warm season. So we don't do it on Bermuda, Zoysia and St. Augustine. We do not do it in Centipede too. We do something that's called verticutting or scarifying. So I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show you out here and I'm also going to show you a mistake I made. Doc screwed up, but hey, all it did was cost me a little bit of money. So here we go. So I want to show you my neighbor. This is Dave, my neighbor, and I'm helping him with his lawn. He had installed some grass over there that's not working. I said, dude, you got St. Augustine. Let's just grab it and let's just plant some runners. But I want to show you this. See this right here? This is, this is a runner right here. This is what I'm talking about. This thing, these things will grow and grow and grow. But this is, <laughs> see that right there? So if you ran a typical prong scar fryer over this, you would just be pulling these things up. That's all you'd be doing. It's not what you want to do. Well, guess what? Bermuda grass and zoysia basically grow the same way. So you do not want to do that on either of these, on all of these lawns. Uh, we cover a lot of this in the lawn guides, so make sure you get the lawn guides, guys. They're free. I say this every video. We built websites for one for Bermuda, one for Zoysia, and one for Cool Season. Over a million people, million, over a million people have used those websites. There's calendars, there's answers and questions, there's product links, and we talk about stuff like this. So use them. Next, I'll link any of the products I'm talking about. I'll build one page. And on that page, I'll put links directly to the exact products so that I don't have to keep posting crap down below. This is one of my old Sun Joes. <laughs> this is, I don't know if it's three years, four years old, but I bought this when we bought, when we bought this beach house so I could install that zoysia grass out front. I actually bought this unit. So this thing has been through hell and I keep waiting for it to die, guys. <laughs> and it has not died. At the other house, I bought a white and orange one. I threw it away. We used it once and I threw it away because the scarifier blades just did not work right. I did a video on that. So then I ordered another Sunjo, but this one, instead of this one is like a, I forget, excuse my dimensions. This is like a 14 and then I went to a 16 because they changed the model number, but the scarifier blades work the same. So when these units come in, let me see if I can find an old video where I'm holding up one of those spring attachments. It comes with two attachments. So the first attachment is going to come with a bunch of little springs on it, those finger things. Now, if you have a zoysia lawn, Bermuda lawn, or St. Augustine lawn, or centipede lawn, you're going to take that thing, you know what you're going to do with it? You're going to drop it right in the trash can because you're never going to use it. Do not use that thing. You'll just simply pull up all the runners, all this rhizome activity. You're just going to pull it up and make a mess. What you want to do is what you do. Basically, they do this in Europe and in all soccer pitches. They scalp their lawn down. They scalp the pitch down. And then they go through and they verticut. It's actually a, it's actually a blade that cuts it to thin it out. Now, you're going to do this when your lawn gets really thick. You're not going to do this on a new lawn, obviously. There's no need to. But I'll explain why I did it out here. And this is what you're going to see. So down below, you're going to see these blades. See them? And you're going to have a girl's <laughs> spongy on there. You're going to have some rope on there. But this is the blade that you're going to use. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually cut. So let's say as an example, on this zoysia, this is a mix, by the way. This is a mix of zoysia and a cool season as it comes through here it's actually going to cut it's not going to lift up too much it's actually going to cut but at the same time it's going to pull up some of that thatch that's under there but it's not just going to only do this got it so it's not going to do this it's actually like a knife it's going to cut and pull at the same time and that is critical okay so i'm going to pop in here real quick with two notes number one about the model and number two about making adjustments on the model, all the ones I have are corded, but now they're moving towards the battery models. So I'm going to link to the 24 volt battery model. Uh, it's about the same price as the corded model. So I'm like, and the cord's a pain in the butt while you're out here at Scarvine. So I'm recommending the battery one, even though I've never tried it. It should work great. 
Number two, let's talk about the adjustments. What you wanna do is you wanna start up high and you wanna make a run. I'm gonna put up a piece of footage of me doing this on Bermuda. I did three strips. So I put it, I did it once, I dropped it down a notch, I did it again, I dropped it down a notch, I did it again, until I felt that it was doing enough, cutting enough, getting up enough old crap, but not going too deep. So you do wanna make that adjustment and you do wanna try it out. Do it a couple test strips and make your adjustments. So what was my big mistake? My big mistake was I came down here and I freaked out because my lawn looked like crap. This lawn has been the best looking lawn on this whole island forever. Everyone stops by and says, dude, your lawn is amazing. Well, um, I hadn't been here in almost a year, so the lawn looked like crap. So when I arrived here, I really freaked out, dude. I jumped on it and... <laughs> I, I put everything down that I could think of. I cut it. I did everything in all in one day, which was fine. Except the problem was, is after I spent a day or two on it, I realized, dude, this is really, really spongy and thick. I need to thin it out and I need to get rid of some of that thatch down below. Now, the positive note is that I used all quick release products. So everything that I put down was a quick release. So I was watering and watering. So I waited about three, four days until I pushed all that in before I did the scar, uh, before I did the verticutting on it. And I'll probably, I'm probably losing some seed and I'm losing, but I don't care. I'm lucky because I had an extra bag of seed and I got plenty of stuff I can order. So my mistake, my mistake was, is feeling that rush, feeling that urgency and then discovering too later on that I really needed to verticut. I really need to scarify my lawn. It just was so, so thick. So let me show you, I'm gonna jump right to, it's actually a bad time of the day to show you because it's really bright out here. But let me put up what the, the, the lawn looked like the day I arrived. I'll put that up right now. And then I wanna show you what it looks like exactly six and a half days later. After everything I've done, this is what it looks like. So much better. <laughs> I still have some bare spots in here, but I've seeded it. But man, let me tell you what, what a difference. So one of the things I do not like to do when it comes to Bermuda, Zoysia, any grass that's growing is I do not like to scarify with a prong. So when you have a, when you buy a dethatcher, it comes with a prong thing and it comes with a blade unit. But there comes a time when you need to cut, it's called verticutting. They do it on fields and everything else, and soccer fields, and you just need to thin it down. And I think, if you take a look at this, see how thick this is? But when I go over to the dead areas, I sort of have the same thing. I have a lot of dead grass on here. So, uh, I kind of ran We'll call it the verticutter or scarifier. I beat this thing back. I can't believe this thing still works. But I ran it over it just to test and uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna cut it down again. Now I just did a video where I put a whole bunch of stuff down but I need to open this up. I need to open this up. I'm gonna real mow it again low. I'm gonna scarify it. I've got all my treatments down and uh, then We'll leave it alone and let it heal itself. So let me run you through the steps I'm gonna do real quick. Number one, I'm gonna reel mow this after I reel mow it because I want everything to be level and even. I don't want the taller green grass to interfere with it. Then I'm going to scarify it and then I'm gonna get the Honda and use the bagger and pick up all that extra crap. I got another full day ahead of me. Okay, so step number one, lawn is scalped, but you can see I've got all this crap in there. So that's about as low as I can cut it, man. This is just so thick. So let's verticut it, and then after the verticut, I'll pick up all the crap with the Honda, I guess. So yes, there comes a point on a spreading warm season grass where it just gets way too thick. Look at this. Dude, that's just crazy. 
I just need to open all this up. The hell with it. That's done. It's ugly. So here we are. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get the Honda. I'll get the Honda and I'll suck all this up. So another peaceful day at the beach house. <laughs> so basically, I'm only able to do two passes before my bag gets all filled up. As you can see. Ah. But man, it just feels, it's kind of like getting a crew cut, you know? I just love short hair. <laughs> So I got to tell you guys, when I first came down here, I really freaked out. I looked at this lawn and I was like, you know, I worked so hard to make this a beautiful lawn and it was just absolutely perfect. And basically with the farm project, I've been gone for almost a year. This lawn hasn't had any care, really hasn't that many treatments. Um, it's just been abused. So um, I came down and I just pounded everything it needed down, but then... <clears throat> I guess spending two or three days walking on it, I was like, and then getting down into this and saying, man, I know what the problem is, is it's just so thick that it had, this had to be done. This isn't done to a normal lawn. This is done if your lawn is really, really thick. Um, it's it's gonna be ugly for a little bit. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna thin it out, but man, what a difference, that nice thin, and it'll just grow back nice and healthy. It's gonna take probably, a good two or three weeks for your lawn to come back I'm gonna tell you now I'm getting ready to, I just got matter of fact Amazon just dropped off some PGF complete I'll probably put out some more PGF complete thank God I had some extra seed because probably 50% of the seed I put down originally probably got torn up and taken up with that process but hey expensive mistake but I got to do it so I'm just thrilled right now absolutely thrilled right here this part See, I wanted to show you like this part right here, man. This is this is just really, really nice. This is what I should have right here. This is what my entire lawn should look like. And um, I've just got a bunch of bare weak spots, but man, that's just, for, for zoysia from seed, that's just absolutely amazing. One of the problems is that, you know, nobody makes a good gas scarifier that's reasonably priced. <laughs> there are thousands and thousands of dollars, so pick up one of these they're probably i don't know what it is maybe i'll put it up on the screen i'll link to it down below oh there's a little glass snake look at it see Ooh, little glass snake man my jack russell would have had that for dinner i'm glad he wasn't she wasn't out here <laughs> uh i'm tying up my bamboo this stuff looks amazing the backyard actually looks really good the backyard this is a mix of zoysia and cool season we're getting everything cleaned up down here but let me tell you what this has been a lot of work i've been getting some fishing in relaxing a little bit but man this has just been a week solid just clean up clean up clean up work 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 so anyways 
if you have a really thick lawn this is not bad i will tell you that you have to do this during the growing season you got it you got to do this during the growing season this is a summertime project just like aerating hit subscribe that little red thing somewhere where i always forget wherever it is i'll talk to you later doc Thank you.